May we see your invitation? Art groups got left, even groups got right. Master, I hope I served you well. More not, more not. Too soon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Jasper, and today we're going to be going over our first episode of our TBC Reputation Guide. We're going to be starting this guide off with Honor Hold for the Alliance in Hellfire Peninsula. And just to kind of give you a breakdown on how this guide series is going to work, I'm going to try to keep the formula and format down pretty short, but still pretty informative. So we're going to be going over each tier and the reputation that includes Friendly, Honored, Revered, and Exalted. And for each tier, I'm going to be highlighting mats, schematics, formulas, weapons, tabards, basically everything in each tier that I feel like would be very important for someone that is leveling a profession, or perhaps items that will help you on your journey to level 70. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and look at how to rep. So how do you get reputation for honor hold? Realistically, it's a lot simpler than you'd probably expect. Basically, you can gain reputation through various different means in Hellfire Peninsula. So, you can start off with really simple stuff. If you just want to grind mobs, you can. Uh, the mobs in and around Hellfire Citadel reward honor hold rep reputation. So, you can just go and kill like the orcs. Uh, you might be able to kill the wargs as well. Those like they're not really small dogs, but the big dog things that normally fall around with some of the hunter type orcs. In addition to that, you can also get reputation from the quest rewards just from doing the regular quest in and around the town but if you're more of a dungeoning person like i am you can also get reputation from killing mobs within the hellfire ramparts and the blood furnace at the early levels and this awards reputation through the friendly tier level on normal difficulties but once you get to the higher tier of levels so on like level 68 plus you can start doing the shattered halls and that rewards reputation until exalted but if you're not really getting enough reputation from that, you need something to kind of hold you over in between, don't worry because there's also a daily PvP quest located within Honor Hold and it's called Hellfire Fortifications. This is a daily PvP quest where basically you have to turn on your PvP, go capture the flags or kind of turn them blue in the three little PvP arena type areas that are located around Hellfire Citadel. And upon doing this, you get 150 rep with Honor Hold, and you also get three marks of Honor Hold, which is like a currency that is used for like various different types of items and gear when you turn it into one of two officers. Uh, one of them is the Logistics Officer Ulrike and Warrant Officer Tracy Proudwell. All right, so now that the how is out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the reputation rewards that you can expect from grinding out the reputation with Honor Hold. Let's go ahead and start off with Friendly. Alrighty, a quick warning before we start looking at these items. All the items I had to pull from the WoWhead Live databases. So all the stats and all the formulas and enchants you're about to see are going to be reflective of a live server and not a TBC Classic server. So if at any point there is an item, a recipe, a formula, an enchant, or whatever that you're interested in, please uh, take the name of it, go to a TBC database, and double check the stats on it. Just because they're not going to be reflective of a TBC Classic server. So, let's go and get started. Alright, so when looking at the friendly reputation, there's not too much to highlight, but there's two that I really wanted to highlight for the professioners out there. The first one is going to be Formula Enchant Bracer Superior Healing, and the second one is the Design, which is for Jewel Crafters, and it is the Regal Deep Paradox. Alright, so for Honor, there's like not much happening as well, but there's two things that I feel like I should highlight. The first one is the Cobra Hide Leg Armor, and then we also have a recipe for our Alchemist out there, and it is the Elixir of Major Agility. Yeah, Revered, there's like not much really happening here in terms of like things to get. The one thing that I would probably highlight and recommend, this is really good for probably bear tanks, um, just tanks in general. It is a design which is also from Jewel Crafting, um, and it is the Dawnstone Crab. So, would recommend it. It looks kind of spicy, it looks good, so hopefully it does you good. Exalted definitely has some good stuff for everyone across the board. So let's go ahead and start from the left. From the left side, we have our pattern for leather workers, and it is the Nether Cobra Leg Armor. At the top, we have plans for our blacksmiths, and that is the Fail Steel Shield Spike. I feel like this is going to be the next tier above Thorium. 
So this is probably for you blacksmiths. Definitely recommend getting it. Tanks. Try to make a friend that has it. And at the bottom we have a formula for our enchanters out there and it is Enchant Cloak Subtlety. Alright, and we save the best for last. So we have two swords available at Exalted. One is Honor's Call and the other one is the Blade of the Archmage. And your best in slot tabard is found here and it is the Honor Hold Tabard. It actually doesn't do anything but I just like collecting tabards so why not. And it is the one that you see on the screen. Alright, and ladies and gentlemen, that has been it for our first TBC reputation guide. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm going to try to keep the format you know, pretty simple. I'm going to go through how to get it, where to get it, and then of course the rewards for getting to the different tiers of the reputation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to keep it around the same time frame, and I will see you guys in the next one as we go and stay in Hellfire Peninsula and look at how to get exalted with Thralmar. And with that note, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.